Greetings, this is Taylor Sharp with TMS Software, and I'm here to talk about the uh, TMS Software Admin API uh, app that complements uh, FileMaker's Web Console tool to give some additional functionality, particularly as it relates to creating and installing an SSL certificate uh, on a Mac. I will say this right now is designed only and tested to work on a Mac. We will probably uh, update it for a Windows sometimes in the future, but for right now it's only uh, working on the Mac side of things. But to start off with, if you want to know more about this, you can come to our website, www.tms.us. And if you want to scroll down here and you want to find out more about the admin API, you can click on this link here uh, and you can see all the information you want to know about this admin API. All we're going to cover today is the portion about creating a, a, a certificate signing request that is then used to create an SSL certificate. So this is going to assume you have FileMaker 18, you've already gone through the quick startup uh, video here and you have the admin console logged on and if that's the case then you should be able to log into uh, your server and open the admin console here and you will be uh, on the home page which uh, actually is going to be back here and at this point here, what you need to do is put in your domain uh, that you need to create the SSL certificate for if you haven't already done that. So HTTPS colon slash slash uh, whatever your FileMaker domain is. And then the API key to log in and the password, you can hit login. And that'll bring you to uh, the next screen. And the next screen will be right here uh, which is your dashboard here and we'll go to the SSL CSR request and this is where uh, when you're going to create a, a certificate signing request this is what you're going to send back to your uh, ICANN uh, authority that you bought your SSL certificate from so let's assume that you've already gone to your, your provider and gotten one. I've used GoDaddy so we're going to use it as the example. If you haven't bought the SSL certificate yet uh, go do that now. Be aware that FileMaker only allows about a handful, about a half dozen or so uh, signing certificate uh, companies. So GoDaddy being one of them, if you're going to create um, uh, go to that uh, I can authority to get your certificate issued you're going to need to first create a certificate signing request from your FileMaker server and this is where we're going to go in and put whatever your FileMaker domain is so it might be fm.somedomain.com and then you'll put in your company name you know whatever it is and department or unit and you could just say FileMaker or it could be accounting department or you know marketing whatever your department is your work that your server is uh, then what country you're in and then what city you're in I'm in Dallas so I'll put Dallas and Texas but you can put whatever city you want in next you'll click the generate uh, CSR and that will think for a minute here and we'll create the certificate signing request up here at the top and this will be the server key the server key never goes back to the ICANN authority but this is what you will send back to it sometimes when you first run this the first time that you do it it does not uh, give you a CSR re uh, return and if it doesn't do that just go back uh, and then recreate the CSR again and I've seen some times where you've had to do that several times wait about 10 seconds in between each time but uh, eventually it will generate the CSR and then you'll have your certificate signing request once you have that certificate signing request here you can come here and you can copy the certificate signing request and this is when you go into uh, your domain authority here and this is a domain I have for my server here but you can go into GoDaddy and you can click into that particular SSL uh, certificate and then you'll come in here and you'll rekey it so this is where you're going to click rekey and when this comes up here you're going to uh, go to this rekey certificate and this is where you paste the CSR that we copied from the admin console so we come here we do a paste and once we've hit paste we would hit save and then scroll down to here and then this button would go blue and I can click this button here and that will uh, start the process of generating a certificate from uh, GoDaddy 
Uh, once you do this, it's going to think for probably a, a couple of minutes, uh, two or three minutes before it will reauthorize it. And once it reauthorizes it, <coughs> then you'll be able to come back here and click on the downloads button right here. <coughs> and you can come here to download the certificate. You have to tell it what certificate you want to download it. If you're on a Mac, you're going to click other and then you're going to hit download zip file and this is going to download it to your uh, folder, uh, your downloads folder. <coughs> so we can go look at our downloads folder and see what's in there. What you'll find is whatever the domain is that you uh, created, it's going to uh, download it right here. So for my example one here, I'll download uh, this particular one and let's see it's thinking and if we look at our downloads folder um, since I created a domain that started out with the name FileMaker it's going to use that uh, as the folder name and when you look in the folder name the thing that ends CRT is your certificate and the thing that starts GD bundle that's going to be your intermediate file so you're going to come back to your admin console and you're going to log in to your admin console and you're going to click on the configuration and then you're going to click on SSL certificate and once you're here you'll be ready to import the custom certificate so you'll click on import custom certificate you'll have three things that you're going to have to upload so you're going to click on the uh, browse to get your certificate this is going to be in your downloads folder and it's going to be in the filemaker folder here and here's your certificate it ends in uh, CRT so you choose it your intermediate file next will be in the same folder. This is your GD bundle file. And then your browser key uh, is going to be back in your downloads folder. I'll go back to our um, admin console so you can see this key right here. If you hit this downloads button, it now is going to save that key into your downloads folder. So if you've saved that into your downloads folder, then you can hit private key and go to your downloads folder and there's the server key that you would uh, attach and once you have those three things attached then you can click import and that will have imported your SSL certificate uh, at that point you'll then need to go back to configuration you'll need to stop the server close close all your databases stop the server and restart it and then your SSL certificate will be running and you should be good so if you have any questions, uh, give us some feedback, and I hope this works for you. Remember, this works for, has been, has been tested for FileMaker 18 and OS X 14 Mojave. It has not been tested on any other operating system. Again, this is Taylor Sharp, and thank you for watching this video.